Hey everyone, this is Rick Catalano, founder and managing partner of Platinum PML and creator of Amigo, the one and only SaaS platform that you need to deliver your strategic software implementations on time, on budget, and with all the value that you promised your leadership. Now, we have all heard the buzz over the past couple of years on SAP's mandate to have their clients move to S4HANA within the next few years. And now what came up recently was this RISE announcement, which is offering a comprehensive, intelligent, customer-specific offering to help drive their business transformation as a service offering. Now, everyone thinks this is gonna be easier. As professionals who have been implementing these solutions for decades, we all know that these implementations are still very tough to implement. And we know this because of the historical statistics. To date, 65% of all enterprise digital transformations fail to deliver on time, on budget, and or without providing the anticipated value that was in their original business case. SAP-based implementations track very similar to these statistics as well. So how come? Well, my argument is while the world has focused on new software and services to improve and re-innovate the customer's operations, very little has been done to improve the tools and services to help these customers implement these new software solutions. SAP has pushed a new methodology paradigm using Activate to make their implementations more agile, pushing to implement things faster, more iterative, iteratively, and theoretically getting them faster to market. But is this is happening. Are these implementations actually getting to market faster? Are they easier to implement, less confusing, less disconnected? My argument is no. In fact, they're getting more challenging to implement because of the faster iterations and the amount of change that is taking place at faster paces. Couple this with our new global reality of working from home and having team members dispersed around the world in different continents, different time zones, different languages, different cultures. And now you can better understand why more than 65% of these enterprise digital transformation programs fail to deliver as they originally intended. So what does it take to successfully implement your SAP-driven digital transformation strategy? Well, that is what I would like to share with you today. So let's dive in. But before we take this deep dive together, I wanna to make sure that you are the right person to be listening to the rest of this presentation. I don't wanna waste any of your time if it's not a good fit. And if you don't feel like you fit into one of the following personas, then feel free to bow out, bow out of this presentation. I will not be offended. So right now, at this very minute, you're in the right place if you can identify with any of these five personas here. You are a project manager or program manager currently running an SAP-driven digital transformation, and you're really not happy with how it's going. You feel your team is struggling on the collective program and just struggling because you just can't put your finger on how or why or how to fix it. Being in this position can be very confusing and very frustrating. I know, I've been there, and I can truly feel like, I truly feel like I can help you out with this. So if you can relate to this, then you are in the right place. Or maybe you are a seasoned IT professional who has some project management experience. However, you have never been involved with a large-scale digital transformation project similar to one that you would face with an SAP implementation. Believe me when I say it, it's an entirely different ballgame. I can say this with a very high degree of confidence that the journey that you are about to go on is going to be one of the most complicated and most challenging ones of your professional career. You wanna know how I know this? Because nearly every client I've ever had has told me this in one way, shape, or form. There are a tremendous number of moving parts on a large-scale SAP-driven digital transformation program, more than you probably ever have experienced in your career, and there's a lot to deal with. And there are a lot of lessons that have been learned over the years that you can get exposure to right now to prepare you for the journey that you're about to take. So if this sounds like your situation, then you are in the right place. Or maybe you are a seasoned functional or technical professional who has been working in the SAP delivery, in an SAP delivery role for several years now. Maybe you're a functional consultant who has been working as an SAP configuration consultant. Maybe you're an SAP technical consultant who has been focused on developing reports interfaces, enhancements, workflows, or Fiori apps. Maybe you've been an SAP data guy who's focused on either data migrations or MDG initiatives. 
Or maybe you've been focusing on the analytics or even organizational change management initiatives. All these and many, many more are the building blocks to a complex SAP-driven digital transformation. And I bet you're probably really, really good at what you do. But you want more. You want to expand your horizons and take your professional game to the next level. You feel like you have the chops to lead a team, project, or program, but you just don't know all the things that you feel you need to know in order to be successful. If this sounds like you, then you are definitely in the right place. Or maybe you are in a leadership role within your organization with either the direct or indirect responsibility for the investment your organization is making with your SAP implementation. And you really want to know, are you getting all the right advice from all your partners? Then this is the right place for you. Because here, I'm a third party who has no ulterior motive with your SAP program. I will give you some strategies to consider to check against your current operations. And if things just aren't jiving the way you want them to on your program, then maybe it's a good time to challenge your integration partners with some of these strategies. And lastly, for my experienced SAP program and project manager friends out there who are getting ready to embark on their new implementation, and they're asking themselves, there's got to be a better way of doing this. If this sounds like you, then you are definitely, definitely in the right place. Now, here's exactly what we're going to cover today. First, I'm going to discuss with you the key focus areas you need to establish to position your digital transformation for maximum efficiency and throughput. Then I will share with you our approach to ensure that you can even further accelerate your Activate-driven SAP implementation. We are going to dive into our methods for identifying critical bottlenecks in what I call your digital transformation implementation supply chain. Those constraints that are killing your program, costing you time, aggravation, and money. I'm going to show you our strategies to remove those bottlenecks while protecting your completion date and most importantly, not compromising on the quality of your program. Finally, I'll cover ways to improve how you can successfully run a behemoth program like an SAP-driven digital transformation while reducing your cost, reducing your implementation type mine, reducing your implementation risk, and providing all that value that was committed to your executive leadership during the business case proposal. So let's talk a little bit about some of the pain that comes along with implementing a digital transformation. I would like to take a moment and share with you some insights on two studies that have been performed that provide some evidence to the pain an organization can go through while implementing their digital transformation initiatives. The first study was performed by McKenzie and Oxford University. They study over 3,600 IT-enabled transformation programs with budgets greater than $15 million and found that 65% of these programs were over budget, 33% were late, and 56% provided less value than originally charted to deliver. The cost overruns for these programs, $66 billion. Absolutely staggering. Here are some other interesting statistics from this study. Of those 65% of the projects that had overruns, 25% of the overruns were greater than 50%, with an average 78% cost overrun. 17% of these programs went so badly that it threatened the existence of the organization. Now, those stats are around digital transformations in general, but what about SAP digital transformations? Are they any better? I'm afraid not. Let's look at some of those statistics. Now, SAP has been around for 49 years, nearly 50 years, and there's been hundreds of thousands of implementations over those years. Still today, over 64% of SAP implementations do not meet their timeline. 52% are over budget, and 48% fail to achieve their business objectives. This is absolutely frustrating. I have spent over half my career coming into situations of program chaos, where things were so out of control and so much extra money was being spent on the initiative. It's really enough to pull your hair out. Now, instead of this chaos, wouldn't it be nice if there was a roadmap of critical strategies needed that significantly increase your probability of being in the positive category of an SAP implementation that is on time, on budget, and meets the original objectives? When I look at how most SAP implementations are running today, I'm reminded of the saying, the shoemaker's kids have no shoes. In terms of program leadership and management, 
The industry uses the same tools and techniques to run large scale global initiatives that I first used when I was starting out as a kid in this industry back in the early 1990s. The only thing that has changed is that we have moved our program documentation from a file server to SharePoint and now from SharePoint to Teams and Jira apps. What our industry needs is a revolution, a completely different way to look at how we implement SAP software with an established set of core processes, delivery principles, and an integrated platform which is used to manage the tens of thousands of connection points that occur during an SAP implementation. They will allow us program professionals to consistently deliver excellence regardless of the type of client, what industry they're in, the different value streams and process areas, the software, the technology, or methodology. With all the improvements in technology recently in cloud computing, I felt it was time that my profession had its own disruptor. And that's why I started Platinum PMO. Platinum PMO essentially has three different service offerings. We provide digital transformation, program leadership, and program management educational services through our Platinum PMO Learning Academy. Through our Platinum PMO Consulting Practice, we provide program leadership, digital transformation strategy, independent advisory, program management office outsourcing, organization change or organization transformation management, and value management and benefits realization consulting services to our clients. And finally, there's Amigo, our digital transformation implementation platform that positions us to truly disrupt this industry. With our cloud-based high-performance digital governance office, you can plan, document, integrate, and govern every aspect of your SAP-driven digital transformation initiative. Our application will pay for itself in months through administrative headcount reduction and will give you the peace of mind as having one and only one source of truth for all aspects of your digital transformation. Now, if it hasn't come across yet, the one thing I would like to share with you is that I'm obsessed with program leadership and program management. I have been running complex SAP programs since 1999, and my passion for program leadership, especially ones that involve complex digital transformations, has never wavered. I have looked at each and every client as an opportunity to lead by example with what I have learned and continue to embrace new challenges and new ideas with each client and learn from them along the way. I have taken these lessons learned along with my continual education to come up with what I think is a better way to run SAP driven digital transformations. I have spent the last 25 years perfecting our approach to delivering high quality, value driven SAP implementations that are on time and on budget. And what I want to do is share with you some of those things today. So with that, let's talk about defining the critical focus areas for a successful digital transformation implementation. Now you've probably heard in the past that most IT enabled programs focus on people, process, and technologies. Well, the way I look at it, successful programs focus on a couple more things. People, process, technology, data, and governance. Now these components are critical for program success, but there needs to be a set of fundamentals to orchestrate the nuances amongst these components, enabling them to work in perfect harmony. Through our experience with Platinum PMO, we have come up with eight fundamentals that enable the core to operate successfully for your digital transformation implementation. They are organization and resources, communications management, project planning and tracking, budget management and cost management, risk, issues, and key decisions, scope management, knowledge retention, and quality control. Now let's talk a little bit about each one of these fundamentals. The organization and resources core fundamental focuses on determining the types of resources you need for your digital transformation, the role within the individual projects, and how those roles, teams, and projects will interact with one another through an overarching governance model that drives your digital transformation towards its North Star. As a program leader, you need to be able to determine and define all of the unique roles that your program is going to need. You need to determine how you're going to structure your, your organization through all the unique projects and methodologies. You're also going to need to know and build the right organizational matrix model to ensure that the proper communications and governance happens throughout your entire digital transformation journey. The project planning and tracking core fundamental focuses on the approach 
your digital transformation should take to consistently plan, track, and measure all the delivery your project teams will be executing over the course of your SAP implementation. As a program leader, you need to establish the standards for your program and the project planning. Establish the attributes required for each project team to consistently plan and execute their work so that you'll be able to roll up all this data to get consistent measurements for your program leadership. The budget planning and cost management core fundamental focuses on what it takes to establish and negotiate the proper budget in order to deliver all aspects of your implementation. Once you have established that budget, then the fun begins because life changes, programs change, and as a program leader, you are constantly challenged to make consumption choices on how to manage the remainder of your budget so that it meets your core objectives of being on time and on budget and delivering all that business value that was originally chartered. As a program leader, you need to have a keen ability to properly develop budgets. You need to have a set of negotiation arrows in your quiver and have the presence of mind on how to best use them. You also need to be a soothsayer by taking the data that you know and predicting what that future might hold and making budget adjustments to keep your program right on track and right at your proper price point. The communications management core fundamental focuses on, you guessed it, communications. As a program leader, you need to make sure that your organization is providing the right stakeholders with the right information at the right time. Making sure that you have processes in place to make this consistently happen throughout your SAP implementation is a critical success factor for your digital transformation. As the saying goes, even if all the deliverables are met and objectives are satisfied, if your key stakeholders are not happy, then nobody's happy. The scope management core fundamental focuses on one of the most challenging facets of any digital transformation in initiative, and that is managing scope. This core fundamental can make or break you. I have seen many of programs simply get crushed because they did not properly manage scope. As a program leader, it is your job to establish clear definitions on the scope of your program and establish rigorous processes on how you're going to manage the myriad of scope changes and change requests that you're gonna be bombarded with throughout the implementation journey. Your risks, actions, issues, and key decision core fundamental, also known as RAID, focuses on the core of your program governance. As a program leader, you will need to establish a formal set of processes around your program risks, unplanned actions, core issues and key decisions, as well as integrate the outcomes of all these activities with all the pertinent stakeholders who are either directly impacted by the results or whose deliverables are directly or indirectly impacted by these results. The quality control core fundamental focuses on your ability to review, assess, measure, report, and advise on all the overall quality of your transformation implementation. Unfortunately, it's one of the core fundamentals that is often overlooked until it's too late. There's an old saying, after a while, people won't remember if your product was delayed or over budget, but they will remember if it was lousy. As a program leader, you don't want to have your legacy be tarnished by delivering a bad digital product to your organization. Be sure you put the effort into quality control. Quality control is your unsung hero. It is simply one of those things that you have to do it. And if you do it, no one will notice. But if you don't do it and your implementation goes badly, everyone will notice. The knowledge retention core fundamental focuses on all those activities you need to perform in preparation for when your consultants leave and walk out the door and you are there ready to support and evolve your digital product. As a program leader, it's your responsibility to make sure that the proper mechanisms are established at the beginning of your digital transformation initiative to properly capture all the relevant content and that all the relevant content has been properly transferred to the appropriate resources in your organization that, so they can properly support your digital product for years to come. Finally, program integration. This is the straw that stirs the drink. It is the mechanism that integrates all these core fundamentals so that each and every aspect is working in perfect harmony. As a program leader, you need to devise a set of processes and technologies to ensure that all these fundamentals are integrated by their appropriate touch points and that all your resources within your program who are also engaging on these core fundamentals on a daily basis are also working as an integrated team through these sets of processes and technologies. Our second strategy is around accelerating the execution of your Activate methodology even further 
by identifying and resolving bottlenecks in your digital transformation implementation supply chain. Now, I don't know about you, but I bet a few of you struggle with this whole project planning and execution thing. And given the statistics out there that I gave you at the beginning of this presentation, that around 65% of these transformations are delayed, over budget, and don't provide the business value for which they're originally chartered, well, you're not alone. So let me see if this scenario resonates with you. You are given a project with some sort of scope and an expected and usually unrealistic due date. You figure out the details of the scope, put together some estimates, pull together some resources, put the scope into some sort of project plan, throw some dependencies onto it, and then put some milestones together and then put it into some kind of software tool until it spits out a date that's close, pretty close to your expected date, and then you're ready to go. Sound familiar? I wish it were that easy. Most of the time, this is where our problems begin, and it's because of how we structure the plan and circumvent our planning tools functionality to achieve a given date. Have you ever heard the phrase from your leadership? And by golly, if we work really hard, we hope to hit that date, right? Well, I'm gonna show you some techniques that I have learned that will put you in a position to achieve those unrealistic program dates set by your management without killing most of your team in the process. So let's jump in. First of all, I want you to think of your SAP implementation like a big factory, and you, the program lead, are the plant superintendent. Now, as a super, you are making widgets. In order to make those widgets, your raw materials need to go through a variety of work centers to get fabricated and your workforce are the folks who are running those work centers and fabricating the product until it comes out at the end of the manufacturing processes as a brand new shiny widget. Well, similarly, your SAP implementations are like a factory. Think of your work products or work packages as widgets, your teams as work centers, the team roles as manufacturer labor. Let's look at the illustration here and assume that the little balls are our widgets. The circular items are our work centers. As you can see in the middle of this diagram, that second work center cannot keep up with the flow of product that its predecessor work center is providing, causing a backup in production. This is causing wasted capacity in the third work center, which is causing wasted production to the entire operation and company. A product can only be produced as fast as, it, as its slowest process or machine. So as a super, what would you do? Well, you'd find a way to somehow improve the throughput of that second work center so that it's running as fast as the next slowest work center in the chain. You will continue to ex do this exercise until you get optimal performance, which is that perfect balance of speed, throughput, cost, and quality. Now, similar to our manufacturing process description here, our SAP implementations can be filled with bottlenecks and wasted capacity that can impact our ability to deliver on time and within budget. And if you've ever been on a large transformation project, wasted capacity can literally cost you millions of dollars. And guess what? I love the new SAP Activate methodology, but it does not account for this. In fact, one could argue that it actually adds to the bottleneck with more administration than the former ASAP methodology provided. But I'm not here to debate or argue that. What I want to do is I want to show you how you can improve the structure and synergies amongst your work streams, or tribes if you want to call them that, to get the optimal throughput to deliver your production-ready SAP product into your organization on time, on budget, and with all that promised value in your original business case. So let's go back to our example for a moment. We have hundreds, if not thousands of work packages flowing through our different project teams, work stream roles, and team members, and most of them are integrated in some way, shape, or form. Now, because of the interdependencies of these work packages and the relationships these work products have to one another and the project roles and the project teams, very little time is given to see what bottlenecks are happening in our digital transformation program supply chain. Therefore, we need to take a look back at how we can best identify, analyze, and hopefully remove the bottlenecks in our program supply chain. In order to do this, I recommend a project manager technique called critical chain project management. You see, most professionals have heard the term critical path and have a pretty good idea of what that is. For those of you who have not, a program's critical path is the longest connected path of activities, or work packages in our case, that need to be completed 
in order to complete the program. The critical path technique was developed in the 1950s and is still used today, and it works great under certain conditions. Can anyone think of a famous program in the 1960s that used the critical path technique? Well, it was actually the Apollo program to put a man on the moon. Now, what is the one thing that NASA had in the 1960s that most of our programs today do not have? A near infinite supply of money because we were in a race with Russia uh, and we needed to get to the moon first. Now, for all the rest of us mere mortal, mortal program leaders, we are held to something called the triple constraint. And it's the constant juggling amongst scope, time, and cost. Now, how can we do a better job at predicting our critical path in correlation to our triple constraint? And it's called the critical chain approach. What the critical chain approach does is not only build the critical path of your program based on the structural dependencies you'd find from start to finish, it also takes into account the resources available to perform the work on those structural dependencies. Let's take a look at this simple example of a project plan. Using the critical chain technique, you can quickly see the critical chain of this program and that this chain runs through a resource named Sally. Like our machine number two in our manufacturing plant scenario, Sally is the most overloaded resource on this program and the program could only move and complete as fast as Sally can produce. You could tell that Sally is the bottleneck because her name shows up in red and there are no lines connecting her task indicating that there is a physical work package dependency. The delays to this project are strictly based on the fact that Sally cannot do three things at once. So as a program leader, I'm going to do everything in my power to rearrange Sally's work so that the program can perform at an optimal capacity, completing faster, delivering quality scope, and not costing any more than what was in the original budget. Now, I know this is just a simple example, but I hope that you are seeing the power of this type of planning that, and then what it can have on your program. Now, here's the best part. Now that you know which roles and resources your critical chain goes through, you as the program leader and the associated work package accountable resources can do everything in your power to protect these resources and ensuring that they are delivering focused effort on their work packages. With you and your project manager's help, you will be able to remove the obstacles of status reports, unnecessary meetings, and all the dozens of other non-value added things that seem to consume our days and help your bottleneck resources focus on the important things, delivering your critical chain. I'm telling you, this approach is a game changer, a completely different way of thinking about delivering your SAP program. Integrating this approach within the structure of your agile teams and within the execution of your SAP Activate methodology will significantly reduce your overall program cost and implementation risks. Now this strategy is the straw that stirs the drink that I was telling you about a little bit earlier. With the strategies we have discussed so far and all the moving parts with the hundreds of people who are working on these large-scale SAP implementations, their roles, the company business cards, the professional biases, cultures, time zones, politics, you name it. As a program leader, how do you keep it all together? Well, over the past 25 years, I have watched the best firms in the world struggle with this, and I've seen the following as their answer. They use about a dozen different project management tools to run their SAP implementations, and thousands of hours of brute force human capital in the forms of status meetings and program management administrators running around duct taping these outputs from all these different program management tools and trying to provide a cohesive story to their executive sponsors. This approach causes millions of dollars in additional administrative and IT costs to run an SAP digital transformation. And as I explained earlier, this approach still fails two thirds of the time, causing additional millions of dollars in program overages. Let's face it, the role of your program leadership is a pivotal one and a role that is most likely going to make or break your implementation. Your program leadership combined with your program management office needs to lead an ecosystem where the tens of thousands of components within an SAP implementation are captured, reviewed, measured, verified for deficiencies and anomalies, and then corrected as part of an ongoing operating throughout your digital transformation journey. Now, in order to do this, you need the tools and techniques to collect, measure, validate, and advise on all the processes required to ensure that the projects under your program are properly coordinated and working together. It involves driving open opportunities to closure, 
and the delicate balance of making trade-offs amongst competing priorities, objectives, and alternatives in order to meet or exceed your stakeholder expectations while maintaining your triple constraint of scope, time, and budget. Now, I'm assuming that you're still listening to me. You have some experience in this area, and I want you to think about this and think about your experiences for a moment. Being a part of those programs, how do you think they went? How cohesive were the moving parts on those transformation efforts? If your experiences were like mine used to be, you were probably part of a program where a solution integrator was brought in to help you run a large scale program, a large scale SAP program. They have some really smart people who have prior experience implementing solutions similar to the ones you're trying to implement. They came with deep, deep industry experience, solid technical skills, and very good soft skills as well. And I bet they came with solid methodologies and a way of running programs. And I bet they generated thousands of documents from a business process mappings, functional requirements, technical requirements, data mapping documents, training documents, testing documents, cutover documents, you name it. And I bet all these documents were stored on either a file server, a SharePoint site, or maybe Teams. All right. And I bet you've probably got five different versions of the same documents stored on five different ind individual PCs, all of, all of whom thought they had the master copy or the latest version of the document. And I'm guessing they probably had some sort of issues list, risk register, actions list, and that it was captured or stored in Excel. Or if they were really sophisticated, they created a list in SharePoint. Am I right? And I bet that they used either Excel or if they were really sophisticated, MS Project, to build project plans. And if your project managers were using MS Project, and because the rest of the team did not have access to MS Project, your project managers would send requests via emails for updates. Get those updates back via email, update their plans, convert those projects into Excel, and then distribute the Excel document out to the teams via email. Does any of this sound familiar? I hope I'm stirring up some negative memories here because this is how most programs still run today. There are great people out there with great skills, but they're stuck using the same tools to run their programs that were used when I first started out in this business in the early 1990s. That is why you need a digital transformation for your digital transformation. You need a toolkit. Actually, you need a platform that allows you to capture and maintain all of your program documentation, program planning and execution, and all your governance actions in one place. And this platform should actually integrate all the components of your program and provide you the intelligence down to the work package level on the possible disconnects and breakdowns within your program and provide alerts to the resources who are responsible, accountable, need to be consulted and informed on the components so that they can all work together to resolve those disconnects. Take a long look at this slide, and I will pause for a minute so you can take a for your screen later. It is your job as a program leader to make sure that all these components on this slide are working together in perfect harmony. In today's world, it takes on average 15 to 20 resources to coordinate all the kinds of activities on a large scale global digital transformation effort. And the information would still be wrong. This is why you need a digital transformation implementation platform to do this work for you with systematic and integrated accuracy. At Platinum PMO, we have developed such a platform, and it's called Amigo. Amigo, which is actually an acronym that stands for Accelerated Migration and Implementation Governance Office, covers and connects everything and everybody you need to successfully implement your SAP-driven digital transformation initiatives on one platform with one database and one source of truth for every bit of information. From the moment the first business card is exchanged between you and your systems implementers, until you retire your application that you develop years from now, we got you covered. So if I had to describe Amigo with one word, that word would be community. With Amigo, we have built a connected community with all the tools each individual in this community needs to successfully perform their jobs so that your SAP implementation stays true to your North Star. And as a team, you deliver your initiative on time, on budget, and with all that value you committed to your leadership, in the original business case. From the CEO or consulting practice executive, all the way down to the folks in the trenches building every aspect of your initiative, Amigo has got you covered. At this time, we have currently defined 57 different job roles under these leadership areas 
that you are seeing on the screen right now that organizations typically have on an SAP driven digital transformation effort. Now, depending on your needs, you may not need all of these roles, but it gives you an idea of the breadth and depth that is covered within the Amigo platform. So what's our secret sauce? Well, for over 25 years now, I have been watching the best in our industry kill themselves while trying to keep all the wheels spinning in the same direction with all their program resources, the dozens of work streams and individual projects working under a digital transformation program. And through the use of brute force labor, manly trying to connect and track all the aspects surrounding these initiatives. Then these programs try to put together all these things into a PowerPoint slide to show their leadership how things are going and how this initiative is going. The cost of the additional overhead is astronomical. And guess what? Nine times out of 10, the information on that PowerPoint is wrong. And at 10th time, when it is right, it's out of date before it's even presented. So over the past several years, I have made it my mission to solve this pervasive problem, to improve the delivery of enterprise digital transformation initiatives, reduce their risk while reducing the cost to deliver the initiative. And I am confident that we have done this with Amigo. Now, the image that you're seeing right now is a high level representation of how we solve this problem. I'm not gonna go into the details during this webcast, but I wanted to introduce the image to you and let you know and just take a snapshot of it so you can review it later. Now, Amigo in its basic form is an agnostic digital transformation implementation platform. And everything I've talked about can be used for any kind of enterprise digital transformation effort. But what about an SAP driven digital transformation? What else can Amigo do? Well, you all have heard the pitches from SAP and the higher end consulting firms about their methods, model companies and accelerators. And SAP recently announced their new rise initiative that SAP CEO Christian Klein describes as business transformation as a service in a single integrated solution and service on offering under one contract that will support SAP customers end to end for their transformation projects. Even with Mr. Klein's bold vision, which I personally applaud, in my 25 years of SAP consulting experience, I have never seen a client implement standard SAP, and I've never seen a client use SAP as their only software solution to run their business, meaning that the implementations always involve working with software outside the SAP ecosystem. So what do you get from SAP and your solution integrators as part of your accelerated SAP implementations today? Well, from SAP, you get an online web-based view of the SAP Activate methodology, as well as the embedded methodology and solution manager. You get a list of Activate's standard accelerator templates and checklists. If you can find it, you can find a spreadsheet of all the SAP business processes decomposed to level three. You get a standard set of test plans and work stream roles in PDF or Word format. You get access to SAP industry best practices and access to their rapid application deployment solutions or model companies based on whatever you purchase. Now, from your solution integrators, what do you get? Well, you usually get their upgraded versions of SAP Activate with a lot more bells and whistles for the areas of complex implementations that Activate does not cover. You get their industry-driven pre-configured solutions as an acceleration point. You get standard deliverable templates, usually in the form of Word documents and Excel spreadsheets, that are associated to the key components of their methodologies within their organization. You get their standard approach to program management, and you get very good and very experienced SAP practitioners. Now there's probably a whole lot more than I'm missing here, but the point that I'm trying to make is that SAP and these firms do a very good job of providing a comprehensive set of independent tools and accelerators. And I stress the word independent. So here's the rub. When you are ready to embark on executing your new SAP-driven digital transformation strategy, here's what you're getting. A great set of independent and mostly non-updatable tools and accelerators for a standard SAP solution that no one really implements and that does not account for the integrations into your SA of those SAP components into the rest of your organization's operating model. And this is where most implementations end up reinventing the wheel. This is where the skills and expertise from our Platinum PMO SAP consulting practice come into place. My consulting practice has spent the last year building SAP's Activate methodology and acceleration content, along with our firm's enhancements to the SAP Activate methodology, plus our own additional complementary methodologies and our own acceleration templates that are integrated into each step of our Activate methodology. 
This provides the users not only a template of what their outcome is supposed to look like, but the step-by-step -step instructions on how they should go about building it. And it's all built right into Amigo for you to use as your starting implementation accelerator with unlimited capabilities to update the content as you deem appropriate. So let me try to paint a picture here for you. If you are following the Activate methodology, you are gonna do everything in your power to get through the explore phase with as close to a fit to standard model as possible that can, can deliver the value and all that value that you talked about during your business case. This standard approach is how SAP and solution integrators accelerate your implementation. Now, as I mentioned, never in 25 years have I seen a company implement SAP out of the box. In my experience, you're implementing about 60 to 70% of the standard solution and 30 to 40% of it is modified somewhere between a tweak to a radical change. So this means you are now on a journey where you are modifying business processes, job roles, security profiles, data field usage, configurations, reports, interfaces, conversions, enhancements, solution extensions, workflows, and mobility apps, plus all the work that has to be performed regardless around organization transformation, like leadership alignment, communications, organization design and workforce redesign, learning and education, and organization engagement and adoption. Plus you have all the work that has to be performed to keep true to your original vision and the business case, like program and budget planning, program management, risk management, issue management, key decision management, action management, scope management, quality management, knowledge management, and stakeholders communications. In today's world, this means redocumenting everything that is changing, or worse yet, starting with a blank sheet of paper and rewriting from scratch. Very painful, very slow. With Amiga, we have taken a radically different approach. We provide you with one integrated platform with which to manage every aspect of your SAP-driven implementation, including the entire SAP Activate methodology with step-by-step -step instructions on how to leverage each activity within the SAP Activate methodology, and acceleration templates with what your activity outcomes should look like when you have completed them. We provide you our Platinum PMO Consulting Activate methodology extensions with additional methodology activities to fill the gaps that are not covered in SAP's standard activate methodology that traditionally hamper most digital transformations. We provide you SAP's standard business process decomposition model all the way down to the level five elementary procedures, which ties to an SAP S4 transaction. We provide you each standard business job role and its associations to the appropriate level three or level four business process. The swim lane job roles and process dependencies for all the level three and level four business processes. We provide an integrated business transaction library that not only contains each SAP S4 HANA system transaction and its associated attributes, but can also be populated with each of your other organization's systems transactions to provide you a full process decomposition for your entire organization, regardless of technology. We provide integrated insights and accelerators via video instruction on Platinum PMO Consulting's leading practices for SAP implementations. We provide an integrated data migration and interface library of every system, table, field, and attribute within your organization's operating model to enable your team to accelerate their source to target mapping of all data migration and interfaces with their associated transformation and enrichment rules. We provide an automated digital governance office with the predefined processes, workflows, and work instructions for every standard PMO process for risk management, action management, issue management, key decision management, scope and change control management, phase and gate management, meeting minutes management, program dictionary management. We also provide a pre-populated listing of the typical risks, issues, and key decisions that happen or need to be made on nearly every SAP implementation. We provide a pre-populated set of projects, deliverables, work packages, and rules and requirements for a standard S4 HANA implementation. It also includes all the business processes, job roles, security profiles, business transactions, data elements, configuration rationale documents, and all the rules and requirements that define those configuration rationale documents. And it's all integrated within the Amigo platform. So when you start your fit to standard workshops during your explore phase, 
All you have to do is discuss and align and agree upon the changes to the fit the standard model. Update those changes in Amigo and your updated documentation is ready for approval. We also provide our Amigo Autopilot, which allows your project managers to finalize the scope of their projects in a Microsoft project-like solution, set the dependencies to establish a critical chain of their project, and with the flip of a switch, set that plan to run an Autopilot. Now with our Autopilot functionality, as soon as a work package or set of work packages is ready to be executed based on the dependencies determined by the project manager, Amigo goes out and lets the right people know that they have work to do, what it's supposed to look like, what are the inputs they need in order to do their job, where to find those inputs, the key activities and procedures needed to complete their work, and then get that work package approved by the right people to make sure that they all agree that the work was performed properly. And once that work package has been signed off, it is automatically updated into the Amigo project plan and the autopilot goes out and looks for the next set of work packages that are ready to be executed. We also provide you with SAP's standard test scenarios and pre, that are pre-populated into our Amigo test library. We have developed some very creative testing capabilities that allow your testing manager to pick and choose what test scenarios, test cases, and test components they want to put into a plan. And with the click of a button, they can automatically create a test plan that can be fed into our Amigo autopilot which then can be set up automatically to run as a human executed test plan. And finally, we provide you with our value and benefits realization capabilities that are pre-populated with the typical benefits one gets when implementing an SAP-driven digital transformation strategy. Now, this is just a starter kit, but this base benefit case will definitely help you accelerate the initial development of your personalized benefits case. Now, not only does our value and benefits realization capabilities help you build the original business case, the benefits you defined are actually integrated into your end solution design. Every business process, strategic data element, and leader job role is integrated into every benefit, providing your team with a complete 360 visibility to where your benefits are coming from, how and where you are going to measure them, and who is responsible for delivering them. Then after you have implemented your product into production, there are processes built in Amigo to collect the actual benefits data to see if you have harvested what you had set out to harvest at the onset of your original business case. That's a lot of stuff. And it's all here in Amigo, all integrated on one platform with one database with one source of truth. With Amigo, we are empowering you and your organization to self-enable. I'm guessing most of you who are listening to me right now have been in the SAP ecosystem for quite some time, 10 years or more. Maybe you're doing only a tech upgrade to S4 HANA. Maybe you're doing a brownfield implementation or even a greenfield implementation. But the bottom line is you probably have a lot of SAP experience within your organization already. You may just need to supplement that experience with some additional technical training to update some of your internal skill sets. You'll probably need a moderate amount of high-end industry and or functional consultants to provide you with the latest and greatest thoughts and approaches in your specific industry on how to implement SAP. And you're probably gonna need a moderate amount of increase in your project management, but also leveraging a smaller than usual program management office because you're gonna have Amigo as your program conduit and that single source of truth. This approach and what we are providing with you out of the box with our Amigo for SAP solution will save you millions of dollars in consulting fees while still enabling your program leadership to deliver your new SAP driven digital product to your organization in production, on time, on budget, and with all the value you described in your original business case. Well, we have covered a lot today. I hope I have provided you with some new knowledge and some new things to think about as you are determining your digital transformation strategy and your SAP execution roadmap. So here's the deal. I'm not exactly sure why you showed up here today, but I'm gonna take a couple of educated guesses. I am guessing that you are working or running an SAP driven digital transformation program and just not happy with how it's functioning and you're looking for new ways to make it better. Or maybe you're just starting out on a new SAP S4HANA initiative and want to figure out what all the fuss is about. Or you could be a new IT practitioner who is dying to get into a leadership role, but you just don't feel you have the tools necessary to succeed. Or you could be an executive who's controlling the bottom line on an SAP initiative for your organization and you just want to be sure you are getting your money's worth. SAP-driven digital transformations are tough to implement. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
but it can be easier. I can promise you that. So first of all, tell me this. I know we only briefly went over a couple of topics here today, but do you see how powerful these strategies that I've discussed, coupled with the power of Amigo, can be for your SAP-driven digital transformation programs? Can you imagine actually using them right away to once and for all have true visibility into the real status of each one of your projects within your program and if they are behind or the constraints that are pulling them behind? Wouldn't it be great to be able to look at your program three to six months ahead and to be able to identify the trouble points ahead and plan for it now? Well, this is what we've been doing for years now for my clients and saving them a bunch of pain, time, and money doing so. But the thing is, at this point, now that you've learned a little bit about these strategies and the power of Amigo, hopefully you are excited about the new potential your organization's transformation programs could have. Or if you're starting out on a new program, what that could be. So it's actually time to make a choice. You now know there are evolved ways to run your SAP-driven digital transformation initiatives. And believe it or not, I am just scratching the surface with what we have presented here today. So you have two choices now. You can keep on doing what you are doing today the same way as it's always been done and continue to get the same results and continue to be one of the 65% of the programs that miss their deadlines, are over budget, or do not meet the objectives for which they were chartered. If that's the case, why well, thank you for spending some time with me today and I hope that the knowledge I provided you today can help you on your future endeavors. Or if you don't want to be one of those programs that are in the 65% category that are over budget, over time and do not meet those objectives for which they are chartered, you can click on the button below and schedule a session with me or one of my partners to have a deeper conversation about your initiative and how we could help you achieve all of its potential. For those of you who have already been through an SAP-driven digital transformation, you know what I'm talking about. How fun was that? Do you remember all the pain, the aggravation, the miscommunications or missing communications, all those disconnections across your teams? the late nights, the stress, and at the end of the day, you missed the original timeline, you overshot the budget, your end user stakeholder groups were frustrated, and your executives were disappointed because you did not achieve all the value that you promised. So do you really think it's gonna be much better this time around? What have you changed in your approach to make it better? You know, Einstein has been quoted as saying, the definition of insanity is repeating the same process over and over again and expecting different results. Are you prepared to do this again and do you think you have a better way of doing it this time and you're going to expect different results? If your answer is no, do you really have the time to figure it all out on your own? I'm going to guess no, and it's not something that you should be spending dozens of hours each week trying to figure out on the fly. These programs are too time consuming and too expensive to learn by trial and error. You need a proven approach that significantly reduces your risk from being delayed, over budget, or missing the mark for which it was intended. I know the pressure cookers that these types of implementations are to people. I've been there. There are many days when you feel your head is barely above water. To paraphrase our old Secretary of State, Donald Rumsfeld, you know what you know, you know what you don't know, and you don't know what you don't know. So leverage the knowledge that you have gained today and click on the link below to schedule some time with me and one of my partners to have further discussions about your needs, what you are trying to accomplish, the pain and challenges that you see ahead, and together we can determine if we are a good fit to help you along this journey. I would like to take a moment now and imagine what your world could look like if you decided to use Amigo as your platform to deliver your SAP-driven digital transformation strategy. Imagine a world where your subject matter experts, general practitioners, or consultants had one place to create and curate documentation work packages within each project where each work package came with a predefined template work instructions on how to populate the template, and once ready, could be digitally distributed for digital signature approval to all appropriate resources. And if one of those approvers rejected that work package, they had the ability to instantly collaborate with the approvers to resolve the issue and get the work package approved. Imagine your team knowing exactly who to talk to about a specific functional requirement or business rule within your domain and being instantaneously informed if another team on the other side of the world is making changes to aspects of their domain that would have significant impact on their scope of work. Imagine these resources knowing exactly what they had to do each day and the value that their individual contributions were making to the bigger picture of your digital transformation. 
Imagine everyone on your program knowing everything that they were responsible for, accountable, consulted, and needed to be informed about throughout your entire initiative, and had the ability to personally prioritize all of their stuff that hits them on a daily basis that falls outside a formal project plan. Imagine your team being able to track their time spent on each of their work packages for which they were assigned effort, and the ability to submit documented expenses for each project where they had personal expenses to report. Imagine a world where your project managers have one place to define the scope of their projects down to the work package level, a platform where they could integrate their scope of your program into a Microsoft project-like cloud-based planning tool and build out a comprehensive dependency-driven and resource-constrained project plan to instantly manage all aspects of their projects from one source of truth. Imagine them having a place where they can instantly collaborate with their fellow project managers on integration points impacting their projects and the overall program. Imagine providing your project managers with the capabilities to approve time by all resources who are working on their projects down to the work package level and approving their team's expenses at the project level. Imagine providing your project managers the ability to capture planned versus actual effort for each and every work package to measure what it actually took to build that work package and then use that intelligence to help better plan future efforts. Imagine a world where your business process analysts had one place to create and maintain the approved business process decomposition of your program all the way down to its lowest procedural or transactional level. Imagine providing a platform where they had the ability to build the integrated dependencies between detailed processes and sub-processes and could assign those business roles that will be responsible for executing those business processes and the procedures that are needed in their future state business model. Imagine them having a single source of truth repository that enables your analysts to define each business requirement or business rule that is needed to effectively and efficiently run your future state business process. Imagine a world where your data migration and integration specialist had one place to see the entire data dictionary for each legacy system and future state application a place to perform data mappings from source systems to target systems for every data migration or systems integration. Imagine them having a single source of truth repository to establish and design all the relevancy, transformation, and enrichment rules to ensure that each piece of information that is moving from one place to another is properly defined and approved for development. Imagine a world where your functional and technical development consultants had one place to document all their application configurations or programmatic development results as they relate to the functional requirements and business rules defined for a given business process. They had the ability to instantly collaborate with key members of the team to walk through their configurations to ensure that they meet the business process design and the business process requirements. They could be instantly notified if changes are being made to their business process area from tangential aspects of the program, like data migrations, interfaces, business process design changes, or requirement updates that may impact their configuration decisions, and the ability to instantly collaborate with those other teams so everyone understands the implications of those changes. Imagine a world where your organization change management professionals had one place to define the new job roles for your future state organization and integrate those job roles to your future state business process model. They had a single source of truth to instantly collaborate with members of your security or governance risk and compliance team to integrate your future state job roles with the design security profiles and all the appropriate compensating controls in place and ready to go. They had a place that they can go to manage the communications to all the internal and external stakeholders that will be impacted by your digital transformation. Imagine them providing them the capability to build out an integrated benefits realization plan as a mechanism that would enable them to define the future benefits for your digital transformation define the mechanisms and how those benefits will be measured, submit and approve the organization commitment to those benefits and use that commitment as a vehicle to drive change throughout the organization, and then track those actual benefits achieved for years to come after you implement your initial product. Imagine providing them the capability to build training materials for your future state digital transformation and have that training integrated into each defined business process, job role, and security role, providing them the ability to obtain final approval for each critical stakeholder, and then integrating those training materials 
into your future state SAP solution. Imagine a world where your testing professionals had one place to build a reusable test library of scenarios, cases, components, and steps that can be applied to unique test plans to fit every type of test plan needed to successfully validate your new operating model. Imagine providing them a place to access and to automatically assign each and every business rule defined and approved during your explore phase and applying them to a specific series of test steps to provide an auditable traceability matrix. Imagine providing your test teams with the capability to build integrated test plans using a Microsoft project-like cloud-based planning tool and build out a comprehensive dependency-driven and resource-constrained test plan. Then executing those plans using automated workflow messaging to test execution specialists, telling them when it's their turn to execute a task on their test plan, then confirming the completion of that test with documented results, and then automatically firing off messages to the next series of testing task owners that are ready to execute. Imagine a world where you as a deployment specialist had one place to review every system that will be retired during the cutover, all the data migrations that will need to occur, and all the new interfaces that will need to be stood up. And with this information, being able to build an integrated cutover plan right inside the platform for everyone to see, and then executing that cutover plan using automated workflow messaging to the cutover execution specialist, telling them when it's their turn to execute a task on the cutover plan, confirming their completion of the cutover task with documented results, and then automatically firing those messages off to the next series of cutover tasks, letting them know it's ready to execute. Imagine providing your cutover team with the capabilities to document all the anomalies that occurred during the cutover experience in an integrated cutover event journal, thus providing an historical context of the challenges and development of corrective action plans to avoid future cutover challenges. Imagine providing your cutover team with the capabilities to establish a detailed cutover checklist and procedures that provide a step-by-step -step instruction on how to execute a specific complex task within your cutover execution plan. Imagine providing a predefined set of operational readiness criteria for each aspect of your cutover with clear-cut expectations and resource accountability, and then measuring that all expectations were met prior to deploying your solution. Imagine a world where your production support specialist had one place to manage their health desk queue in order to triage and route tickets to the appropriate members. Imagine them having instant access to all the existing project documentation right at their fingertips to help them solve the production problem. Imagine your production support team having the capability to instantly collaborate with the resources who created the ticket, to have further discussions and share screens to help further understand the problem and accelerate the resolution. And keeping all key stakeholders instantly apprised on the resolution status of the help desk ticket. Imagine a world where your program leadership had one place to establish the goals, objectives, and success metrics for your digital transformation program and then to be able to integrate these elements into the business and data processes defined for your program. If they had a platform to manage all the risk, issues, actions, and key decisions impacting your program and seeing how these elements impact the delivery of the program. Imagine having an ability to automatically inform steering committee members of risks, issues, and key decisions requiring their input. Imagine having a single source of truth to provide visibility to all metrics for every project under your domain and the ability to drill down into the details of any project that may need your assistance. Imagine your program leadership being instantly notified of integration impacts that are most important to them and their success throughout the overall program, and then being able to instantly collaborate with your project managers on those inter-project integration issues. Imagine being able to predefine all phases and milestone program gates with clear-cut expectations and resource accountability, and then being able to measure that the expectations were met prior to moving on to the next phase, milestone, or commercial payment. Imagine providing your program leadership with the visibility and management capabilities to all change requests with complete visibility to the integration impacts and consequences, dependency implications, and impacts to project timeline. And then upon approval of the change request, automatically and surgically communicating to everyone around the world who may be impacted by that change request so that they have visibility to the impact that the change may have to their lens of the program. And most importantly, imagine being able to provide your program leadership with a perfect and immutable audit trail of every single activity that has ever taken place within your program. Imagine a world where your executive leadership 
had one place to consistently analyze performance across all the programs within their portfolios with one source of truth. Imagine being instantly updated when or if an initiative within your portfolio appears to be going off the rails. Being able to instantly collaborate with their program leaders on the integration impacts across multiple programs. Imagine providing your leadership with the capabilities to perform value and demand management analysis using key decision criteria to determine the most important initiatives and the prioritization of those initiatives for your organization. Now, if you're in the management consulting business, imagine a world where your consulting practice executives had one place to have a global view of every engagement and every client within their span of responsibility. They had one set of consistent metrics in which to evaluate every initiative that is going on in their consulting practice and had the ability to instantly collaborate with your practice partners or practice directors on those initiatives. Imagine having the ability to integrate each of your sales opportunities and their associated activities with the actual program statement of work and being able to capture the actual cost of sales, hours or effort to win the deal, plus all the expenses for each client or initiative acquisition. And then providing your assigned delivery partner or director with that critical information on the entire sale acquisition process, including the key stakeholders, activities, documentation, internal decisions made, leading up to the establishment of this new program statement of work. Imagine a world where you could perform all of this with one integrated application, with one database, using real-time data from your desktop, laptop, or mobile phone. Well, imagine no more, my friends, because it's here and it's real. You can be getting this value today on your SAP implementation or other strategic software initiatives. If this sounds like something that can help your organization, then we would like to have a conversation with you. Just click on the link below. I have opened up mine and my partner's calendars to have discussions with you to better understand what it is you're trying to accomplish, the pain and struggles you are currently having that are preventing you from accomplishing what it is that you want to accomplish. And then together, we can determine a plan to move forward. Well, that's about it, and that wraps it up for me. I hope you found this time informative, and I hope you now have a better understanding of the power that we have built into our Amigo platform. Trust me when I say this, this platform will become your SAP implementation's new best friend. Thanks for your time today. Please feel free to share this with your friends and colleagues, and we'll talk to you soon.